All I gotta do is put my mind Gang, it's your boy Tyler the Duff, and I'm back with another video. Let me go ahead and open up my beer. Y'all, this is not a promotion video, but this beer, if you live in Austin, is one of the best beers out there. Well, not beer, it's actually like considered like a wine, but it has 6.5% alcohol in it. I highly recommend it if you're in Austin, because you know I'm an alcoholic and you know I love my alcohol. These businesses really need to start paying me. I'm gonna start doing free promotion. Anyways guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with OnlyFans for a month. I have been doing OnlyFans for about two months now. Um, it's actually really fun. I never thought it would be like super duper fun. Like I know like a lot of YouTubers like make their OnlyFans and then they're just like, oh my God, like they like dupe people into like subscribing and then they don't really post like real content. Your boy is not lying to you. I actually post real content on my OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? Speaking about that, I have my OnlyFans link in the description box below. Go subscribe. Right now, I am doing 30% off. I think the subscription is going to be only seven bucks. Seven bucks and you can see all this. You can see Anthony's all that. You can see a whole bunch of everything that you've wanted to see. You can also give me some tips and everything like that. So yeah, so go ahead, hit that link in my description box and go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a promotion for a pretty long time. I'm very active on there, especially now that I'm not sick and everything like that. So go support your boy. You wanna support your boy, go. You want me to get the bag? You want me to get the bag? <laughs> I've been posting like real content on my OnlyFans. It's been super fun, but I've also learned a lot of ins and outs with OnlyFans as well. So let me get right into the tea. I have learned that if you were gonna do OnlyFans, if you wanna make money and if you wanna keep people subscribed, you're gonna have to post more than just some bikini pics or some underwear pics if you're a guy. You're gonna have to do way more than that. If you are especially charging 15 bucks a month and you're not showing no ass and titties, like, what, 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 what? <laughs> Who's gonna pay $15 to look at some Instagram photos? You're gonna have to actually engage. You're gonna actually have to show a little skin. There ain't nothing wrong with showing a little skin, especially in the age that we live in now. We're not living in the like whole 1920s where it's like, slut shame, you're a whore. Like, no, no. <laughs> Even though some people still live with that, um, it's definitely, OnlyFans has most definitely opened me up to be more open with my body, more open with my sexuality. <clears throat> Ooh, my goodness. Showing a different side to you guys so that you guys can see like, how I get down, you know what I'm saying? So I most definitely appreciate you guys for supporting me. And just like so you guys said that you appreciate me for showing that side and it helped you become more comfortable with yourself. I love it. So being on OnlyFans, I have seen lots of DL men. There's a lot of DL men on OnlyFans, <laughs> especially them that subscribe to my OnlyFans. And most of them are like tops. Um, some of them are like bottoms, but I have definitely shocked a lot of people on my OnlyFans with my with my junk. What you gonna do with all that junk? Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna get, 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 get too drunk, right? Y'all, it sucks being in an apartment by yourself because you get lit by yourself and there's no one around to get lit with you. So I just look like a crackhead hyping myself up in my apartment. I've definitely got like a lot of DMs from like DL man. They're just like, oh, so you're single now? Oh, can I smash her? Oh, can I get with you? And I'm just like, okay, so what's your Instagram? They send me their Instagram and they're following like nothing but girls. They're just talking about how they want some putang. And it's just like, it's just like, you're not comfortable within your own body enough to where you are going to go buy my OnlyFans just to hit on me there. When you can hit on me on any type of way, it's not like I'm gonna put your business out there. I mean, like, I know I'm talking about it. So this applies to anybody. I haven't dropped any names or dropped any Snapchats or Instagrams or anything like that. It's just definitely like a, whoa. Also, on my OnlyFans, I have realized that I have a lot of women, bless you. I have a lot of women on my OnlyFans too. I was just like, okay, let me find out. I got like a, I got a lot of women that support me. I love this. Like, okay, it's a very diverse group. I love it. Since you guys have subscribed to my OnlyFans, if you haven't yet, go ahead and do it. Description box below. Go ahead, get to it. Chop, chop. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna let you guys know how much I've made in my first month of OnlyFans. So in my first month of OnlyFans, this number is going to shock y'all. I made a total of, drum roll please. I appreciate all of you guys for this, by the way. It has helped me pay off a lot of my debt. It's, a, um, it's helping me invest and it's helping me save. And it's also helping me put 
more time and effort back into creating content for you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for this. I have made a total of $20,000 in one month off of OnlyFans. I'll never know if I'll ever see that money ever again. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Like I said, I'll never know if I'll... My ultimate goal in life is to like make passive income to get like $20,000 a month off of OnlyFans in order to do that and stuff like that. But I appreciate you guys so much. So those of you that are subscribed to me still, thank you so much. Those of you guys that are considering subscribing or are going to subscribe, thank you as well. Um, these taxes are not gonna pay themselves, sweetie, because uh, that money comes with taxes. I'm gonna have to find out some tax write-offs or something that's gonna go on. But yeah, that's how much money I've made. And I've heard nothing but good feedback. They're, um, over, um, OnlyFans can be really overwhelming just because of the amount of things that people want to see. Like people want to see me top Anthony in many different ways. People want to see like me insert things from every hole in my body. Like they just want to see a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, woo, this is a lot. I'm just like, I'm, I'm still only, you know, I'm just, I'm just a person. I gotta let myself recharge. I don't know how some of y'all be going six, seven, 10, 12, 20 rounds in one sitting. I can't do that. So my body, like even though I drink a lot of water, but I drink a lot of alcohol, alcohol kind of suppresses me a little bit. <laughs> but it's definitely a wonderful thing, especially being on Twitter and um, promoting my OnlyFans on my Twitter as well. I have two Twitters, by the way. Um, if you subscribe to my OnlyFans, you'll know the Twitter, or I can put it in the description box below. Um, it definitely opened me up to a whole different community. I'm just like, oh wow. Oh. Oh wow, oh wow, okay, so there is some fun. You fine, you're fine. <laughs> I didn't know you were out there looking that damn scrumptious. <laughs> but obviously it's not in that way to where I'm like sliding into everybody's DMs like, you trying to smash? It's more so like, oh wow, like this is a very different diverse group of people. Like you're putting yourself out there. I'm putting myself out there. You're trying to make business moves. I'm trying to make business moves. So why don't we do it? Let's go. Like I've seen more support and more communication within the OnlyFans community than I have on YouTube. For some reason, it's just like so many people are so vindictive on YouTube to where it's just like, nobody wants to grow together, but it's just like, y'all are awesome, thanks. <laughs> on OnlyFans, you're really not competing for subscribers. You're literally just trying to promote other people and trying to get, you know, trying to get some more coins in your pocket. So I see it as a very great way for people to express themselves. And you don't necessarily have to upload a, thank you. You don't necessarily have to upload explicit content on OnlyFans. You can do like bikini stuff. You can do, OnlyFans is not just for that. You can go upload like behind the scenes stuff. You know, it's basically like a Patreon, except that people have, it's all about the mindset. People have different mindsets whenever they hear Patreon. And whenever they hear, and whenever they hear OnlyFans, and honestly, OnlyFans has helped me a lot, especially whenever YouTube likes to suspend me or whatever, or if Instagram likes to suspend me for whatever reason possible. I have another platform to upload on, so it's definitely really, really great, and it's a platform that lets me express myself in any way see fit because I am Thailand. Bad. <laughs> I gotta show off all this, like. I be walking around the house like, damn, I ain't got nobody to show this off to. The only person that actually entertained me walking around here booty naked was my ex <laughs> or anybody that I'm really talking to. I'm just like, well, damn, I ain't for everybody. <laughs> so I guess it's great having people want to invest into me to see. Like some people are like, they ask me, they're just like, do you feel like you are like a porn star? And I'm like, no. I literally just think that I'm just on another platform uploading things that a lot of platforms won't let you upload. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. Um, like I said, there's no, there's been nothing but good feedback. So I appreciate you all so much for um, supporting me throughout that. And yeah, there's some YouTubers that have subscribed to my OnlyFans too. I see y'all. There's a lot of like little nosy people. <laughs> that want to see like curiosity kills the cat but sometimes curiosity can bring you some it can bring you some gold you're gonna hit a potluck and you're gonna get lucky you're gonna see things that you've been wanting to see i heard some people were just like oh my god you fulfilled my fantasy but yeah so again i am going to be running discounts right now on my only fans i do know times is rough there is a whole pandemic outside not everybody has a job anymore but you know i'm trying to make it as low as possible and 
do all this so you guys please subscribe again thank you guys so much for supporting me i let you guys know how much money i made the down low guys um how many people are trying to slide into my dms now <laughs> it's definitely been so much fun i wish that only fans did like a convention like you know like vidcon or like playlist like youtube does huh i have to look into that what if i went to vidcon like next year if the pandemic is not here and people actually realize uh, recognize me Oh my god, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. But anyways, y'all, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And like I said, hit that link in my description box below if you love me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Deuces. Okay, I was just trying to get a thumbnail. If I forget to edit this out, just know I'm not looking stupid on purpose. It's for a thumbnail. Love you. <laughs>